Roads has made great strides down the transformation route. People who've been here 50 years ago would not recognize that institution now in terms of the more obvious transformation, um, which is uh, the demographics of the institution. It has definitely changed. Uh, but there's more that is going on that is much, much deeper transformation. There are initiatives, for example, in the changing of the curriculum, teaching and learning practices, etc. Those tend to be uh, overlooked when the discussion of transformation happens mainly in the public. You know, like the public discourse on transformation tends to focus on the change in demographics. I'm not saying that is not important, that is as important as transformation of the curriculum, transformation of other practices within the institution. And these are related to each other. You cannot transform the curriculum without transforming the demographics, etc. There's a systemic relationship between all these facets of transformation. We should not forget that. Um, in terms of the name change itself, this is a discussion that clearly needs to happen. Uh, however, we should also bear in mind that changing the name can also be just cosmetic change. It will not necessarily need, necessarily, I want to say, lead to deeper transformation. And what we are more concerned with, what we're after, is a deeper transformation of the institution. What I'm concerned with is that the most visible culture, like the visual culture, like the names of buildings, the names of the institution, the names of roads, those are was that part of the broader picture? If we focus too much on that, then we might actually lose sight of what this institution is about. This institution is a teaching, learning and research institution and transformation that is just as important. We can change the name to, I don't know, Magana University, but if we do not change our teaching practices, then we have not transformed at all.